Hey, okay, this is Jen at Aguirre Fitness, and I am here to talk to you about two, there are many, but two big workout gym mistakes that people make. The first one is a little bit more geared towards women, um, and that is the whole myth that if you use heavy weight, you're going to get super huge. So the women make mistakes of going into the gym and grabbing five pounds and eight pounds and 10 pound dumbbells. Yes, there are certain exercises that you should be using lighter weights if you're in certain positions, but they're grabbing them for you know, basic traditional positions or, or basic exercises or dynamic exercise or whatever it is that you could be using heavier weights with. So I'm not at all trying to toot my own horn. I'm just trying to say that I am not, I am fit. I have lean muscle tissue, but I don't think that I am huge and I don't think that I am jacked and I don't think that I look like I'm on steroids. And for a female and even for some males, I am very, very strong and I lift very, very heavy weights very heavy. Um, uh, so basically it's very important that you challenge the muscle. You're not going to get huge. If you combine heavy weights, proper intensity, you know, fast pace movements, just like a lot of my workout videos are, um, and you combine it with eating good and quality cardio, you're not going to get bulky. If you're getting bulky, it's because you're not eating right. Um, so that is the first mistake that people make. And then the second mistake is that they feel like if they stay in the gym for long, long, long periods of time that they feel like they're doing something. Um, and you really don't have to. If you're truly pushing yourself to the max, and even the same thing with cardio, you, if you're pushing yourself to the max, quality target heart rate zones for cardio and even for training and you're dynamic you can go heavy you could superset it with a fast paced movement sheer example let's say if you were going to go heavy squats and then superset it with plyometrics and then a bunch, a bunch of other exercises that you do and you bang out a certain amount of rotations and you just keep moving and moving and moving and you do a 50, 60 minute workout and then a little cardio, you don't have to be at the gym for three, four hours. And I've seen people walking around there for that long. Even quality cardio, I don't believe in, I really don't, and I apologize if anybody does, but I don't believe in fat burning zones. I believe that that's lazy man's cardio. And I believe that if you, and there's zero link to increasing the stamina of your heart, decreasing heart disease, um, increasing metabolism, there's no link to that whatsoever. But there is with cardio interval style of training. So if you're doing quality cardio, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, super, super, super intense, and then in your lower zones, if you had a heart rate monitor, it would be target heart rate zones on a scale of 1 to 10. It would be between, let's say, like a 7 and a 10. As high as you possibly can, and then going down to your 7 on a scale of 1 to 10, and then popping it back up, you really shouldn't have any more gas left in you to be hanging out at the gym for three hours. So those are just two little mistakes that people make, and then women for the first one. Um, but, you know, I hope that this helps. Um, it is really worth it. I mean, and then obviously if you guys are linking all this stuff with proper nutrition, you're going to have the energy. You're going to have the fuel. You're going to have all that stuff to get through your workouts so you can put, push it to your max. Um, so I hope this was informative. Leave your comments. Let me know. Less time in the gym and more time enjoying life. But work hard when you're in that gym. So, um, okay, I love you.